My name is Eliza R. Paroni, a student nurse from Block A, and today I'm going to perform changing an unoccupied bed. The purpose of changing an unoccupied bed is first to promote client's comfort, second is to provide clean and comforting environment for the client, and three is to provide smooth, wrinkle-free bed foundation for the client to minimize the skin irritation of the client. First thing to do is to perform hand hygiene. If client is present, first proceed with assessment and then introduce yourself to the client, explain what you're going to do, why this is necessary, and how the client can participate. Then provide privacy. Place fresh linen on the client's chair. Do not place it on another client's bed to prevent cross-contamination. Apply clean gloves. Strip the bed and loosen all bedding systematically to prevent stretching and reaching and possible muscle strain. Roll the soiled linen and hold it away from your uniform and directly put in the linen hamper. Remove soiled pillowcase. Place the pillow on the chair. Raise the bed to a comfortable working height. Clean the mattress. Move and adjust the mattress. Apply the bottom sheet. The top of the sheet needs to be well tucked to remain it securely in place. Move to the other side and secure the bottom linens. Wrinkles can cause discomfort for the client. Make sure to tuck the sheet properly. Apply or complete the top sheet, blanket, and spread. Tuck the sheet, blanket, and spread at the foot of the bed and miter the corner. Fold the top of the top sheet down over the spread, providing a cuff.
put clean pillowcases on the pillows as required. Provide for client comfort and safety. Remove and discard the gloves. Perform hand hygiene. Document and report data. Good day! I am Eliza R. Paroni, a first year student nurse from Block A. Today, I am going to perform bathing an adult client and perennial care. The purpose of bathing an adult client and perennial care is to firstly remove microorganisms that is present such as body secretions, body odors, and dead skin cells. Next is to promote sense of well-being. Next is to stimulate circulation to the skin. Next is to promote comfort and relaxation. And lastly, is to uh, prevent and eliminate unpleasant body odors. Introduce self to the client, explain what you're going to do, why this is necessary, and how the client can participate. Perform assessment to the client. Perform hand hygiene. Provide client privacy. Prepare the client in the environment. Position the bed at a comfortable working height. Gather all equipment. Place bath blanket over top sheet. Discard the top sheet. Remove the client's clothing while keeping the client covered with the bath blanket. Place a blanket under the client's head. Make a bath mitt with the washcloth. Ask if client wants soap to use on the face. Wash the face and begin the bath the cleanest area and work downward towards the feet. Wash the client's eyes. Wash client's face, ears, and neck. Replace dirty water with clean water. Remove towel under the client's head. Place bath towel under the client's arms and wash the client's arms.
wash the client's fingers. Firm strokes from distal to proximal areas promote circulation by increasing venous blood return. Wash the client's chest and abdomen. Wash the legs and feet of the client. Place bath towel lengthwise alongside the back and buttocks. the client with grooming aids such as powder, lotion, or deodorant. Help the client put on the clothes.
place a clean top sheet over the client's body. Remove the bath towel. Reposition the client. Perform hand hygiene and document. Good day! My name is Eliza R. Paroni and I am a first year student nurse from Block Bay. And today I am going to perform providing hair care. The purpose of providing hair care is to firstly stimulate blood circulation to the scalp. Secondly, is to distribute hair oils to provide or to promote a healthy sheen. Thirdly, is to increase the client's comfort. And lastly, is to assess or monitor any scalp or hair problems. Assess and introduce self to the client. Assess the condition of the hair, evenness of hair growth, self-care abilities. Perform hand hygiene. Provide client privacy. Position and prepare the client appropriately. Hair is more easily brushed and combed when the client is in sitting position. Remove any mats or tangles gradually. Brush and comb the hair. Arrange the hair neatly according to the individual's desires. Provide client comfort. Perform hand hygiene. And document. Good day. My name is Eliza R. Baroni, a first year student nurse from Block A. And today I'm going to perform brushing and flossing the teeth of the client. The purpose of brushing and flossing the teeth of the client is firstly to remove food particles that is present between and around the teeth. Secondly, is to remove dental plaques. Next is to promote or increase the sense of well-being and comfort of the client. And lastly, is to prevent sores and infections of the oral tissues. Assess and introduce self to the client. Explain what you're going to do, why is it important, and how the client can participate. Perform hand hygiene. Provide client privacy since hygiene is a personal matter. Elevate the client's bed. Prepare the client and assist to a sitting position to the bed. Prepare the equipment. Place tower under the client's chin and observe client's teeth. Place curved basin under the client's chin. Apply clean gloves. Use a small brush and moisten the bristles of the toothbrush with a water. Brush the client's teeth. Move the bristles up and down gently in short strokes. Clean the biting surfaces of the client. Moving the brush back and forth. 
and the client the water crop to rinse the mouth vigorously. Wipe the client's mouth. Floss the client's teeth. Give the client water to rinse the mouth. Curved basin to spit the water. Assist the client in wiping the mouth. Remove and dispose equipments properly. Remove the clean gloves and dispose. Remove the towel and reposition the client back to center. Provide client comfort. Ask client if she needs anything. Perform hand hygiene. And document. Good day. My name is Eliza R. Peroni, a first year student nurse from Block A. And today I am going to perform providing foot care. The purpose of providing foot care is to firstly maintain the skin integrity of the feet. Next, or secondly, is to prevent foot infection. Third, is to prevent foot odors. And lastly, is to assess or monitor any foot problems. Assess and introduce self to the client. Explain what you're going to do, why is it necessary, and how the client can participate. Perform hand hygiene. Provide client privacy. Adjust the height of the bed. Prepare the client and the equipment. Assist client to a sitting position in a chair. Wash the foot and soak it. Place one foot of the client in the basin and clean with soap. Rub calluses with washcloth. Rinse the foot well and remove the soap. Change dirty water with clean water. Dry the feet thoroughly and apply lotion or foot powder. Assist patient back on the bed. Provide client comfort. Clean and discard equipments appropriately. Pack nails and skin of the patient. Perform hand hygiene. And document. Good day. My name is Eliza R. Peroni, a first-year student nurse from Block A, and today I am going to perform changing an occupied bed. The purpose of changing an occupied bed is firstly to conserve the client's energy, next is to provide or promote the client's comfort, 
Next is to provide a clean and neat environment for the client. And lastly, is to provide a smooth and wrinkle-free bed foundation which can minimize skin irritation. Assess and introduce yourself to the client. Perform hand hygiene. Provide client privacy. Place fresh linen on the client's chair. Lower the side rail of the patient. Spread bath blanket over the top sheet. Remove the top sheet and place it to the linen hamper. client to turn on the side. Change the bottom sheet and the raw sheet. Loosen the bottom linens on the side of the bed. Roll the dirty linen close to the client. Place the new bottom sheet on the bed. Thickly fan fold the half. Tuck the sheet under the near half of the bed. Fold the other half of the sheet. Place the new draw sheet on the bed. Fan fold the half vertically. Place the new cotton sheet on the bed. Tuck both of the linens under the bed. Fourth, the client to roll over to the side. Move the pillows to the clean side for the client's use. Place the side rail before leaving the side of the bed. Move to the other side. And lower the side rail. Move the soiled linen and place it to the dirty linen hamper. Fold and pull the bottom sheet so that it is smooth and tuck the excess under the side of the mattress. Unfold and pull the cotton sheet and the draw sheet. Tuck both linens under the bed. Position the client in the center of the bed. Remove the pillowcase and replace it with a new pillowcase.
Complete the top bedding. Spread the top sheet over the client. Remove the bath towel of the client. Make a toe pleat for the client. Ensure safety of the client by raising the side rails. If she needs anything else, form hand hygiene and document.